that's probably how you'd feel in the middle of the night if your tent failed and you had to get up and fix it. Hi, my name's Barry Watson, Wild Mountain Man. Great to see you. Let's face it, it's inevitable at some point, despite your best efforts, despite your best equipment, despite your best planning, your tent will fail or be seriously compromised by the harsh elements of nature. So what I want to do today is to give you five super practical tips that you can use when your tent does fail, either because of strong wind, driving rain, or heavy snow, or a combination thereof. So if you're ready, let's go. If one of your pole breaks, use the pole ferrule or splint as it's called to reconnect the two broken ends together. As the connector can be a bit wider than ideally needed, create a firmer grip by firstly using the tape from your first aid kit and wrapping it around each end of the broken pole and then put the splint over it so it won't easily detach itself. Unfortunately, a lot of tent failures happen in the middle of the night. Really inconvenient, I know. So it's important that you've got your head torch near your bed and also your repair kit at arm's length so whenever you need it, you can get it really quickly. As prevention is always better than cure, help increase the strength of your poles by ensuring that all guy lines are firmly fixed to the ground and tight enough without being too tight. If there's opportunity to double pole your tent or to replace the current poles with thicker ones, that also can be really great options. Even after seam sealing your tent, strong wind has an unnatural ability to push water in places it shouldn't, such as zips and air vents. If your tent unfortunately springs a leak, then you can either double up the protection on the outer by using a tarp tied to the pegs, or on the inside, simply run down your hand on the inside fabric, which will help create a pathway that the water can follow. And speaking of helpful things, if you'd like to receive more of these types of videos, can I ask you if you'd like to subscribe to the channel and that'll make sure you won't miss out. The pooling of water under your tent <laughs> it's very normal when there's a lot of excessive rain. However, what you don't want to see happen is an Olympic-sized swimming pool form under where you're sleeping. If there's rain forecast or in the middle of the night you find there's a bit of a pool underneath your tent and you can't go anywhere else, what you can do is dig a trench around it which will dispel the water around it. To help also reduce the water building up in the first place, what you can do is find a slight slope to pitch your tent on, which means that when it does rain, the water will easily run under your tent. In winter, especially when it's windy, the buildup of snow on your tent above the bush line can not only block air vents, it can also put undue pressure on your poles. This can be reduced though by building a wall with snow blocks or by pitching your tent in a dugout hole. Regardless though, you will need to get up several times in the night to gently brush off the excess snow from on and around your tent. The last point is actually called the last resort. In other words, if things turn to custard in the night and despite your best efforts at time to repair and fix whatever has happened to your tent and you just can't, then you need to exit stage right ASAP. In other words, where can you go that's lower? Where can you go that's close, that is safe, that you can hunker down for the night and then make some sound, safe decisions, perhaps in the morning when the conditions are a lot more favorable. So don't try to soldier on beyond your own ability. That's not being courageous. That's actually being really silly. You always want to make sure that safety is your number one priority. Hope you found these five tips very helpful. I certainly enjoyed bringing them to you. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you'd like to see other videos of this sort of nature, um, please do that, that'd be very helpful. And of course, until I see you in the next one, always stay safe, stay strong. See you in the next one, team. Bye.